Children, how are you today? Uh, uh, you are... You are missing. You were supposed to do what? Is this what you were supposed to do? Yes. Or something else? The learning stuff? The learning stuff. Oh, the learning stuff? Yes. Mm -hmm. Something very short. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, well, my learning style, yeah. I had to describe my learning style. Let right? add some more information, okay? Pick one of the, you know, the different styles mm -hmm. and add a little bit more about that, for example, okay? okay. It was like this. Yeah. Okay. If you don't have adjustment, don't carry the age yourself. Thank you, Mark. Okay. Well, uh, my learning style is the social one. Uh, I like to learn uh, with all the people. I like to be in group work and talk about a topic with uh, my classmates or uh, with the teacher. I believe it's much better when you share information uh, about what you are learning. And for me, it's much easier to remember and to learn all the things that we pass in class. OK? Yeah. Claudia, you go on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, don't cut it, because this is short. Well, the learning style I have is um, visual, or, and sometimes um, okay. Okay. But, uh, according to this passage, um, my learning style is mainly visual. Uh, because uh, when I'm uh, reading something, I always do like these um, map maps and associate words and make uh, bonitas <laughs> with what I read. Um, and uh, um, another thing is that. Uh, I do not consider myself as a creative person. And also, uh, I'm not very good at working with other people. I prefer working alone. I'm not, um, feel very comfortable with working with others. Mm -hmm. As I said in the previous class, I'm very visual. Visual and applied. Because, uh, as a matter of fact, it was very easy for me to learn about grammar because it was all about diagrams. So it was so simple for me to understand it, to read it, that I actually was very good at it. So I, I convinced myself that I need to diagram my, my stuff, my, what I am studying. And it, it has been effective for me. I am also very, like, kinesthetic is another term concept. Uh, I, I really like sports and uh, I think I really learn uh, in that way, like um, uh, acting things out or um, like uh, moving in, in, in a way that going to interview, not only in the class. And I, I think I learn better in those ways. Okay, just now. Turn around the... Mm -hmm. Okay. Emily? Okay. Um, well, I was thinking about learning the language because I think sometimes it's different when you learn a language or something else. But I think that for me, it's, it's easier to learn by listening uh, because I, I think that's why I'm... I'm not really good at spelling because I I, I learn better by listening. Mm -hmm. 
and also it's easier for me to learn with other people mm -hmm. because you can learn from their mistakes and their good things about them so I think that's the way I learn the best can you yeah yeah it's not that I'm, I'm, I'm not trusting your abilities. Is, did you have a chance to look at this? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, actually, uh, I think that I'm more like visual. Because uh, for me, it's easier, I mean, a lot more easier to retrieve or recall information that or something that I've seen than something that I've heard. I mean, um, that's why I think that I'm not that good at listening. Because sometimes uh, I'm... I tend to lose the track because I um, sort of I like something more organized than you know. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, for me, it's really easy to understand uh, things when when applied uh, in real life uh, situations. So according to to this text, um, I. Uh, I, I have an applied or conceptual learning side and but also I like to uh, carry things or concepts uh, a little for uh, beyond the context in which they are presented um, I like to for example um, if I have uh, if I have a task a task I like to I don't know maybe write a story about it and a and I tend to retain more information by creating something from this uh, previous information. And so in that sense, um, uh, I would have a combination of applied and creative uh, learning style. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, well, uh, I think I'm a visual learner. Yeah, and for those who don't know, <laughs> that means that I learn uh, through seeing. I tend to remember things when I watch videos, for instance, when I uh, see the, the teacher's gestures in front of the class. And also um, with illustrated text, textbooks, sorry. Other important facts are, for instance, circum and highlighting. Uh, for instance, uh, vivid colors are very important because when I highlight, I tend to remember those words which are important. <coughs> and when the tests when the tests come, uh, I remember those words. Then I write them. I can, and I can the, and I can uh, expand my ideas. That's it. Um, my predominant learning style is visual because I tend to learn more, more by um, seeing or by um, looking at some pictures of different uh, visual material. And um, I think my, my learning style is very particular because I have a sort of technique which is very useful for me to study. Because uh, um, when I'm in class, I take uh, notes in my notebook and then I make different drafts. And then I, uh, when I get home, I copy the drafts or I type them on my computer. So I think I've always had the ability to remember things or learn things when, um, according to the color which I choose when I write those words on my computer. So it's visual. Yeah, it's visual. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> well, I would say that uh, I'm a, I'm kind of visual and at the same time creative learner because uh, I tend to to learn better from reading schemes and monitos <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and also from this information I, I read I get I also I also try to to create my own ideas about that so I combine what I read plus what I can create by myself. And sometimes I, and, and at this point, um, I would say I'm in the same case as Karina, because sometimes I try, I'm a kinesthetic learner. 
in in other aspects. For example, when I, for example, <laughs> you know, I'm so interested in in soccer, mm -hmm. and I want to perform a, a, a technique, and I want to master it. So I have to to see how a other person performs it, mm -hmm. and then I try to practice and do it as better as I can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay.